fellow curious individuals of the world, armchair scientists and chronic disease warriors, welcome and congrats upon discovering DNA campaign hidden among 1.2 billion YouTube videos, including over 2 million cat videos. I'm your host, Alexandra Thompson. I co-founded Allele Genomics, a company with the mission of helping individuals improve their health through personalized genetic reports and actionable lifestyle recommendations. We offer personalized nutrition, health, and detox guides based on your DNA to help take the guesswork out of getting better. It's kind of like a how-to manual on you. Now it's an exciting time for genomics, and knowing your genes can help you lead a better life. DNA Campaign, this vlog, is about democratizing science and empowering you to take control of your health by using your genetic data. Now, this might sound, what are you talking about, Alex? That sounds far out. I can assure you, the wealthy of the world and the educated are already using this technology to improve their lives, live longer and healthier than ever before. Just look at the Rockefeller who died. What was he, 101? I've pitched a deal to investors, and I've been disappointed by their response. They often say that lower to middle class people don't care that much about their health, that they're not educated and they're not smart or brave enough to try getting genotyped, to try something new, that genotyping should only be for the wealthy. Well, I think that's ridiculous. Us regular normal peons do care about our health, and we do deserve access to good health care and the latest medical advances. Because the quality and length of your life shouldn't be determined just by your zip code or by your bank account. So I am asking you, let's prove them wrong. Let's show them that middle America will get genotyped. We will take our own health into our own hands. Because the hard truth is, and brace yourself, because it is unpleasant to listen to, we live in an increasingly polluted and expensive world. And to make matters worse, food doesn't have the same nutritional benefits that it used to. The soil doesn't produce as many minerals or vitamins as it used to because of bad farming practices. And then there's things like GMOs, additives in our food that we don't even know about. Then the cost of health insurance has skyrocketed in the last 10 years. So all these nutritional deficiencies and blocked detox pathways build up into disease, and meanwhile, we can't even afford the care to prevent it. We are on the brink of a scientific and medical revolution unlike anything we've ever seen before. The power of genomics can be used for good. For instance, this guy on TED Talk says that we can cure all disease in just over 10 years. Or, can be used for bad. Can be used to discriminate against people for race. Or, deny health insurance coverage. Like we just saw with some of the Republicans. They're, they're saying employers can demand you to get genetically tested and follow those solutions, or you'd have to pay a higher price for your insurance. I don't think Genetic information should ever be used that way, but it's up to you and me to determine how it should be used. So another common misconception about genetics is that it's going to show you how you're going to die. Most people don't even want to know their genetics because they think it's just too scary. It's like reading the future, going to a fortune teller. Well, I can assure you <laughs> that that's not true. Knowing your genetics shows you how to live, not how to die how to live the best life possible, how to be healthy and be strong. You can know what vitamins and supplements to take, what foods you should eat, how you should exercise, and if there are any drugs or substances that you really should avoid. So, so much, so much, so much trial and error in modern day medicine can be reduced or even eliminated just by knowing your genetic code. And with the health crisis in this country, there's no time to waste. So let's get started. Next week, we'll cover basic terms in genetics and the biggest, baddest, most well-studied gene of them all, MTHFR. Take control of your health and empower yourself and subscribe. Thanks, see you next week.